Once you have connected your Intel Galileo board to your computer, let's check if it appears in the Linux file system. So to do so, we will display all files in the dev directory, which is the file where all devices in Linux are. So for example, when you plug a USB key to your computer, it will appear as a file in the dev directory. So here, we have the file ttyacm0, which is our Intel Galileo board. This is basically the port that we will use in the Arduino IDE to run, execute some demo. So let's start the Arduino IDE and go to Tools, Board, to check that the Intel Galileo board is connected. So it's OK. Let's verify that the sample and empty code for Arduino is compiling and can be uploaded to the board. And OK, the transfer is complete. Let's try to compile an example. For example, the basic Blink demo, which is basically how to blink a LED on the Galileo board. Click on Verify and click on Upload. As you can see, the transfer is complete. And you should see on your board the LED blinking. 